hi your friendly neighborhood they them i'm vic my lips are chapped i am very thirsty i'm also very sweaty this is the fourth video i have filmed today let's do this um welcome <laughs> it's our mid-year tattoo kaigi we knew this would happen a lot of you have come into the void into this iteration of channel into sunshine the sexy universe because of the tattoo kaigi i had big dreams so i have no ah <sighs> order to this madness I'm just gonna go one by one you might have seen here in this pile some of the old things that were in the Teicho Kagi some new things I'm just gonna talk about all of it and whether or not I have used it it is Hobonichi season we're getting our preview calendar sale start September 1st the question here is does Vic need another Hobonichi great question let's begin we have the Black Travelers Notebook. I got this cover specifically over the holidays. That's why it has a cute little polar bear. In here we have the thin paper insert, which I, how many journal entries did I do? Two journal entries, this many pages. The rest is completely blank. Beautiful paper, just not something that I'm using at the moment. I did almost use up the photo insert. This is a business card insert. I will continue to purchase these. Love these. So there are selfies, pictures of me and my partner, my trip to Chicago, my family. How many more spaces do I have? I have one more page, three, six, nine more photo slots. So I have been using the photo insert. Good job, Vic. <laughs> Next, the five-year journal. <laughs> All right, I started this last year. I was very diligent. I filled up every day last year. Let's see where Vic decided to stop. Oh, April 23rd. It is now August. Four months I have not written in my five-year journal. But this was the new cover that I got this year, and I am going to get a new cover for it next year. It is my tradition to get a new cover for my five-year every year. I have some written on my notes app on my phone and I think if I go back to my Instagram backlog like my stories I can maybe see what I did that day but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this out so that every night I have access to it and I can write something anything because I feel so awful I really want to have this and I haven't been making time for it and that makes me really sad so my five year sketchbook number one Midori MD have I done any art this year the answer is no Maybe we just... I don't know. <laughs> I guess I was really mad that that's a lot of... I don't... what? <laughs> I don't like bugs. I don't like you either. Everything is dull. I miss color. This is super helpful because there's no dates on this. And then the rest is blank. I still love Midori, so if I ever want to draw, I'm going to continue using Midori paper. I just literally have not made any time at all to make art. None. Zero. So, I was going to say go for next year, make more time for art, but we shall see. <laughs> it does bring me quite a bit of joy. There's just like so much that I like, and also I'm chronically ill, so I don't have energy every day. And I have a full-time job, so making time for art is really hard. I am planning to start the artist's way very soon, so maybe I will create more art. I also got this sketchbook for my birth for my birthday for Christmas. Uh, this is a moleskin. It's not an A5. It's not an A6. What is it? It's giving B6 energy. I just got this sticker at um, A Room of One's Own in Wisconsin. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm gay. <laughs> Uh, how much did I use up to here and then I made no more art this year so art has definitely been something that just kind of fell to the side so did I use my sketchbooks this year no we have one of many my journals this year are not chronological Monday on one in one journal Tuesday on the next May in one April in the other it's just a mess and I don't want that anymore <laughs> my goal is 
some of my goals for this year is one is for my books to represent me. I want someone to look at my bookshelf and be like, that's Vic. That is a very Vic bookshelf. I want to be able to recommend books to other people because I've read every book on my shelf and I know what they would like and I know what they're about. And I want to do the same for my journals. Like I want all of my journals to be cared for and loved and represent portions of my life and be archival and organized. But right now it is a disorder and that is okay. So Roban I use to journal in. And how many pages did I use it for? Ooh. Oh, to here. <laughs> it, these are dated though, so I will tell you when I use them. I used February 11th, February 15th, February 16th, February 18th, February 20th. So I guess I got this journal in February. <laughs> then March 5th, March 6th. Then March 16th, so we skipped 10 days. Then April 27, we skipped a whole last month. Then June 24th, <laughs> June 26th. See what I mean by like sparse, just like random. Whatever notebook I have near me that I'm vibing with that day, that's the one that gets used. I need to make more time for journaling and I want to stick to one journal at a time. Roll on recommend. I like the colors. I like how soft it is. I like the paper. It gives Rhodia Clairefontaine vibes but a little less thick. But if you're not like a Rhodia Clairefontaine person then skip. The Midori MD in the A4. This is because last year I was using this traveler's notebook as my reading journal. I have not touched this traveler's notebook. This still has the old inserts from last year in it and has all my book quotes and my book notes and I loved this. I was doing the same thing where I was putting the covers in the monthlies and then in the weeklies, let's see if I can get to there, I was like trying to plan my reading, so like read this many pages in a day but that wasn't working for me because then I felt too restrained in my reading and I don't like I like planning my reading in my books like putting tabs where maybe I should stop but I don't like planning it like in a planner like homework so the weekly stops getting used and then in the back I would write book quotes and book notes so again it looks nice I had a good time in this but when did I stop using it let me see March so January February March I used it for three months and then it was too small and I wanted something bigger so I literally went from this to this <laughs> and then this was too big <laughs> I feel like Goldilocks these are too big to fill out. That's too much room for me. For a reading journal, an A4 size, I can't. So I don't know what I'm gonna use this for. Maybe more journaling? I don't know. Well, since I haven't been keeping up with reading here, all I did was that I got back on Goodreads and I've just been putting stars that I think each book is and letting Goodreads do that for me and I haven't been doing anything bookish at all, except for my index cards. Now the index cards. That's something I'm going to continue for the rest of my life. Before I get into the index cards, I have to talk about the field notes. So, both field notes and index cards were prompted by Megan Rhiannon here on the internet. She bought a box, so I bought a box. Have my books read, where I was keeping lists of books that I read that year, which now Goodreads is doing for me, so I don't have to do that anymore. The last time I did that was March, <laughs> again. And then I did input here one of the collages that I made of the books that I read. And these are the collages that I have over on my Instagram. I also have blank versions of these templates if you want to use them also on Instagram. And I made those using Pinterest and Procreate. So I stopped using this one in March and then I had a book of quotes where I was literally handwriting every single quote from all of my books. I have here Eileen Miles for now, A Horse at Night on Writing. Again, now this was fine and then it started feeling way too small. I couldn't use my fountain pens on it, like I didn't like the color of the grid, but it's like filled with book quotes. And I stopped 23 pages in on April 2nd. So once I got tired of this, I switched over to my index cards. So, I annotate my books and I tab them so I know where all my quotes are and I just keep my quotes in my brain. So I do want to keep like a system, like a physical system with all my quotes and my notes. That's something that I had in here, that I had 
in here. I just don't know how to do it yet. But my index cards are categorically. So like I'll read something and I'll be like, oh, that happens to be about hair. So I, I always remember that in Sylvia Plath's journals, there's a scene where a child braids her hair. Then I was reading Clary Slice Spectre's Cronicas and there's a scene here where a child braids her hair. Then I was watching a movie about Elizabeth Bishop. Elizabeth Bishop wrote a poem about like stars in her hair of her lover, Lotta. Then Jeanette Witcherson talked about like her lover's hair. So I just have all of these references always in my head and I was like I can turn these references into cards. So I learned about these cards from Megan Rihanna and shipping was crazy because it was from a French shop called Foglietto and I live in the armpit of America. But I love them and I will continue doing this forever and at some point I want to have like a wooden version of this. And it's one of my favorite things to come up with new categories. So anytime I have a category, the book quotes go in here. So my categories so far are angels, cave, eye, looking at animals, glancing at animals. That's all in like one thing. Dance, death, freedom, hallelujah, home, hell, love, mountain, preludes, sad, silence, spiral, stars, stones and rocks, telephone wires, and time. It's my favorite way right now of keeping my book quotes but I also want to keep like um like my notes like I want to write a quote of a book and then my thoughts on it I want to deep dive into my literature you know so yes but our first win of the year <laughs> then we have the Loister I love the color I like that it's soft cover this sticker from that pilot fountain pen is so nice a little book sticker in the back. This was meant to be a poetry commonplace book where I, because I read a lot of poetry every year and usually my favorite poems I mark with a heart or a star. So this is where I would transcribe all of my favorite poems. So every poem that got a star or a heart would be transcribed here. I sat with my notebook one day, I started writing it down and then I never picked it up again. I still have favorite poems. I still have poetry books that I've read and I'm currently reading. I just haven't sat down and made the time for it. So this is definitely something that I'm going to continue doing and taking the time with because it lets me play around with pens and inks and I like handwriting and transcribing and it's nice. I think it's going to be nice to just have a book of poems that I like. But I don't know. Oh, these are some like marginelli, mar like things, I guess, mementos that I have found in used books. I take it to the back here. This is something that I do wish to continue. It's just not something that gets used every single day. The one and only notebook that I finished, a pocket loisterm. This was just grocery lists, collage, um, journal entries, swatches, doodles, and I used up every single page. It was a blank notebook. Very satisfying. Happy that I used this. Let me see what the days were. Um, I started at December 23rd. When did I finish it? June 22nd. Six months. It took me six months to fill out this tiny little ooh, <laughs> baby notebook. I bought an April start Hobonichi. I was like, you know what? I definitely need an A5 Hobonichi. <sighs> when did I stop using the Hobonichi? Great idea. I bought it in April and I stopped using it in May. I used it for a month. Now, None of the Tomo River paper is going to go to waste. I'll just backlist it. I'll just use it as morning pages or journaling or anything and just disregard the dates. But the whole point was for me to journal every single day. Um, I was doing lyrics, song lyrics in the monthly sections. I was doing gratitude lists um, in the weeklies with different pen inks. I had amazing intentions and I could only keep it up for a month. And then it was too much for me. A6 Hobonichis. I don't like A6 size. I don't know why I did this. Maybe just because the covers were really cute. I did start all of them. So this is what happened before the field notes and before the index card system. So I'm convinced that if I just keep trying, I will find something that works because I tried this. It's a non-dated Hobonichi and I had it alphabetized. So then I would write my quotes in here by category. And then that didn't work, so I started writing all of my quotes in here, and then that, that didn't work, and then eventually all of that got turned into index cards, and that worked. So, only use this once, never again. Super cute though. Will probably end up being a journaling notebook in the future. 
This was meant to be a sketchbook. How many pages did I fill out? Literally two. It's too thin, I think, for media. I much prefer the moleskin and the MD paper for art. <sighs> and then this one, which I was using photos in, but then eventually I started putting my photos in my traveler's notebook, and that works way better because, again, this paper is too thin. So I would put photos and journal. And when's the last time that I did that was when we went to the hospital, March. March and then nothing. <clears throat> We're almost done. We have two more weeks. So we had the weeks that I tried to use for the reading journal that did not turn out. We have my movement weight weeks. I still use this as my work planner. We have a sticky on there. Um, this is going back to me for work. I did not use it in June or July because those are our summer months, but I did use this every single day, the weekly, the monthly is what I have to teach that day. We have a code red or a fire drill or a paperwork that I need to turn in. I am going to continue using this the rest of the year and I am going to buy another planner for next year. Now, I love my movements, but the movements are $70 plus $30 shipping. They have already come out if you want to buy the 2024 movements. It is out. It exists. I also feel a little bit constricted in this. So again, I might do a, a, an MD with the monthly and like the free grid. I might do like a wish term planner where they do it has like a monthly and like a weekly section and then like a lines page but in an A5 size. I just need more room because I found that my to-do lists were like a lot and I wanted to write more and then I felt like I couldn't. So I loved it. It has served me well. I'm going to move on. This is the last Okunichi. It was meant to be like a tarot journal. I did that once <laughs> and then I started doing like oh let me just plan out my content and then that didn't work I really also just like plan out my content crazily on my notes app and random notebooks in my head I would like to have a like content only planner slash notebook it's all blank again I probably will go back and try to journal in here because we are not wasting deliciously creamy tomorrow blue paper okay my passport traveler's notebook I still use. I only use the ink insert though. This is the one that I use and reference the most often. I have not gone back to my vocabulary insert and I have not gone back to that last onion skin paper insert. But I do use my ink insert a lot to swatch my inks. For example, this, these are the pens I currently have inked and the inks that are in them at the moment. So I will continue to use this. I have also added this tiny field notes size notebook. If I ever go back to the field notes size, once I use those up, these will be the ones that go in the box because these are fountain pen friendly. These are from the right brand. And I'm using this specifically just for my blood pressure. I have chronically low blood pressure. I just saw my doctor. I'm gonna, she referred me to a cardiologist. So I'm gonna see a cardiologist soon. So I've just been keeping track of my blood pressure, like sitting down, standing up, lying down. Like it's literally an everyday log of my blood pressure and only my blood pressure. So that's what this notebook is for that I'm currently using and I will continue using it. This stays out like next to my little blood pressure machine. And then I have this old notebook. This is from Nanami 7 C's. It is lined tomorrow rubber paper. It's not OG tomorrow rubber paper, but it's not Sanzen either. It's like that when they made that change from the first tomorrow rubber paper. That's the paper that it is. It's a B6 slim size and I started it. When did I start this? October 21st, 2021. So I've had it for almost three years, really. Um, and then these are this is just the kind of notebook that I love and then I don't like and then I love and then I don't like um, But I'm happy that I didn't throw it away I used to be that kind of person that would just like throw away their notebooks if I didn't want to use them anymore Because but then I would like lose so much of my life and I'm happy that I kept it because eventually I did come back to it And this is my now everything notebook. So my YouTube planning goes in here my D&D &D notes goes in here my doodles and sketches go in here. My journals go in here. So this has become my everything commonplace book. Book quotes in here. It's messy. The same way that my the inside of my brain is a little bit messy. I like how convenient it is. I like the paper. I like how soft it is. I'm committed to finishing this notebook but a part of me still wants to keep everything separate. 
like I want to fill up just my poetry notebook and just a sketchbook and like just a D and D notes notebook. Like I want to have one notebook for everything, but realistically, this is just what always ends up happening. Everything just ends up in one place, and maybe I just have to surrender to that. So as far as all of the things that are actually working for me right now, keeping categorical index cards for my book quotes, my movement weeks for my job the business card inserts for all of my Instax photos, my Tamar River passport insert for my ink swatches, my write notebook for my blood pressure, and my Nanami 7 seeds for literally everything else. <sighs> what will next year look like? We'll see! I'm ready for my next touch of karaoke. <laughs> That's the end of the video. Thank you for being here. I love you very much. Remember to buy some of my books off of Pango and subscribe to my Patreon so that you can be part of the exclusive Patreon book and mail club. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!